sometimes when I want to search or at least have students search, I see teachers doing two options. The first being, here's a link and find some information on the page or go find information on blank. And one of them doesn't really teach them how to search. The other one gets them 80,000 100 results in 3.5 seconds and it's just too much. So there's got to be like a better middle road and that's what Google custom search engines are for. It lets me select only the websites that my students searches will pull from so I can filter down to only websites that might be grade level or content appropriate. So when I how to use them is to go to custom search engine on a Google search and click on the first thing that pops up. And when we press create custom search it just instantly takes us to a page that lets us paste in the URLs of the sites we want. So I pulled up a bunch of physics sites that I like. So I'm going to copy the address and paste it in right there. And then I get another box to do another one. A plus physics, copy the URL, paste. One more, conceptual physics, copy URL. Okay, now I get to name this name of search engine. We'll call it Physics Content Search. And there's some advanced options. Don't worry about those for now. Just press Create. The last thing you want is view it on the web. This is the URL that I need to give my students access to. So if I click on this button, this public URL, this address right up here at the top is what I need to somehow get on my website. So I'll go like copy. Imagine this is my website. Link to class search engine. Highlight. Place that there. So now the custom search that I just made right here, that URL is now linked on my page. So when Google students go here and type in um, thermodynamics it's only pulling from A plus physics, A plus physics all of these websites only the ones that I chose. And I still have my sorting stuff too. So that's how it will look for the students when they use it.